Hello everyone, welcome back to my weekly recap or weekly podcast. This is episode 3. In these episodes, I'll just be talking about what happened throughout the week. And if you like it, please like and subscribe. So let's get going. Usually these are 10 minutes, by the way. So, this week... um, School ended. Yeah, on Thursday, it was our, it was our last day. I already talked about my recap, so if you want to go check that out, please go check it out. It's on my channel. Yeah, this week was, you know, like I said, Thursday was our last day, so it was very sad saying goodbye to the students. as my first year, you know. There are a lot of ups and downs with them, behavioral especially, but overall, it was a great experience. They all love me, you know, and it makes me feel like I did something and I accomplished something. So that's what's most important about this job. And I did that, so I'm glad I did that. And I'm glad that I had the students I had. It was a great first year. My staffs were amazing. My coworkers were amazing. All of them were amazing. It just, it just worked out overall. That's all I can say. Um, two of my coworkers are my, actually my grade level team. They're moving to a different place. Another one is changing grades. So I'm gonna have a completely new team, but I'm looking forward for that experience as well, working with different staffs. It might be different, so. Just wanna appreciate the people that helped me get through this year, you know. I didn't do much during the last four days, three and a half days actually. Yeah, we had field day, which is like a whole activity thing with the students. We did that on Tuesday. I got drenched, so there was like a water activity that you just squirt water guns, you splash water with a cup, and then yeah, the kids targeted me, so you know, I might as well get drenched, you know, and had fun. Overall, that day was successful. Wednesday, we just chilled, took them out for like an hour and a half worth of recess because I didn't plan anything. Thursday, we said goodbye to the fifth graders, which I don't know any of them because that was my first year, but Wish them a great three years in middle school and another four years in high school. Wow. If you think about it, they still have seven more years of school if they continue taking a normal educational path. But that's crazy. Wow. I don't remember much from fifth grade, to be honest. I remember I was in the principal's room the last day because me and this other kid from my class got into a little argument. <laughs> so yeah, that was funny. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Nothing serious. Um, yeah, Thursday. Um, I gave my I wrote oh yeah I wrote uh, cards for my students and some of my coworkers that I appreciated a lot. So I did that um, because I just wanted to give my gratitude to all of them that made my first year possible and not that many people write letters anymore I feel like they usually text or like in person they'll tell or say thank you but they don't do many written mails now so I just wanted to bring it back it's more thoughtful too I feel so I wanted to do that and yeah, Friday yes two days ago Friday day I just slept in um, hung out with one of my friends. Um, yeah, it was just fun. It was good catching up. He's also a teacher, and he's the one that I will be moving into our new apartment soon. You know, I've met him through club soccer, so we did that. Um, yesterday, I met with my other two friends, and my friends' friends, like a lot of a lot of dudes, and we went out. It was fun. That was fun too. I was a little tired, honestly, so. I, I left literally like 30 minutes in. But it was good catching up with the two boys that I've, I know, at least. It was good. You know. Time flies and then you start to uh, be more independent because your schedule is different. You don't get to see your friends as often as you used to do in college. So finding those times to see your friends is very important. And I'm glad that I've been doing that. So, yeah, it was just fun. It was fun catching up. I was making music, actually, with one of my friends. 
while I was there. And we kind of had some beverages. It was, it was overall a great night, Saturday. Friday as well, Friday, I went to the casino with my friend just to have fun because summer, <laughs> right? So that was a, that was a great time. Um, yeah, pretty much. And then today, this is a very hot day today. I didn't do much today either. Just went outside to go work out, slept in. Now I gotta start packing, you know. And that's the one annoying thing about moving to different places is the packing part because it's a lot of, I have a lot of stuff that I have to pack, you know, make sure that it's clean. I gotta vacuum, wash the floor, wipe the floors, wipe the bathroom, shower room, all that. So I'll have to figure out time soon to do that. Um, I have multiple interviews actually for different jobs, which I cannot uh, disclose. So you will find out later if things happen. But I have interviews, two, actually three interviews. So I'm gonna prepare for that, which I don't do interviews as often. So I'm kind of little, I'm kind of nervous now. Remember when I had to do interviews during my master's year of college for when I was looking for teaching jobs. Those were the days I remember I had to like just apply to many places as I can. And then from there, I got like multiple offers or multiple interview opportunities. And yeah, I remember when I was applying, I applied to, I think 10. And then all of them, I mean, all of them had different timelines of when they needed their teachers or when they uh, posted their job up. Op job opening. Oh, that was hard for me to say. So, yeah, I mean, I had my opportunities out of the 10. I think I interviewed seven out of the seven. Yeah, seven, yeah, seven schools or districts more like. The three reached out later on. Actually, one didn't even reach out, one. One didn't, so yeah, nine interviews, I guess. Or it was supposed to be nine interviews. But then I didn't interview two places because I've already accepted a job beforehand. So, so I interviewed 10 or I applied 10. Didn't get, didn't hear back from one. <laughs> so sad. Didn't interview two because of the job, uh, job that I already secured. And I interviewed seven, yes. The first one was more of like a practice one. It was just a district that I wanted to try out and see what the interview process looks like. So once they offer me to go do a demo lesson, that's what you're supposed to do. I kind of, I politely declined. Actually, I did that for two places. The first two, I did that. And the third one, what's the place that I currently work at? That one was the, one of the top choices. Actually, my top three choices for to work. And I'm glad that I got that job because it's close by from where I live in Hartford and faculties are great, students are great, so. Overall, it all just worked out. And the rest, I did. I still did interviews just because I already scheduled them, but I had to mention that I, had, I, was, already, I was already taken. <laughs> Which was kind of rude because I'm taking their time, but the game's a game, you know? That's how it works, so. Yeah, I remember doing that, and now I have my job interviews again with, for different places now for different reasons. So looking forward to doing that. Oh, I gotta still pack. It's been hot, so make sure people drink water. You know, that's very important. Sleep well. I have to, yeah, keep packing. Oh, I've been lazy, honestly. I have some laundries to fold, which I haven't been doing. Maybe I should go on a walk later. Who knows? I don't have much plan for our Sunday today. Maybe make more content per usual for YouTube. Hopefully it blows up one day. I mean, I haven't put much effort, but you know, at least I'm doing this for a hobby, killing time. And yeah, I enjoy doing it. And oh, last thing, my approval. Last episode I talked about applying for an apartment that got approved, so which is why I'm packing right now. I guess you kind of, you guys probably already figured it out if you listen to the podcast, yeah. But I'll be moving into a two bedroom, so that'll be fun. At least I'll have a roommate now. So yeah, that's pretty much what happened during my week this week. And honestly, next week I'm not gonna be doing much, but if you liked it, please like and subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys later, peace out.